If you want to hear how a trap that never came to fruition in a previous Saw movie makes an appearance in Spiral, then stick around to the end of this video. Welcome to Things You Missed. This is the first time we've ever gotten a big establishing shot of the city, and it looks like New York. Previous Saw films took place in a state called the Fairweather State, and the city name is always just Metropolitan. We never hear the actual city name. There are definitely parts that look like New York in the past, but it's hard to say if that means that the whole series takes place there, or if this is simply a case of New York playing the part of the fictional city. Another possibility is that this doesn't take place in the same city as the other eight films. If the new Jigsaw is someone who was inspired by John Kramer, we could be anywhere in the country now. The one big piece of evidence for that is the fact that the subway system seemed to be a big part of the story here. Possibly even one of the traps involves the subway. That reminds me of the trap we see in Jill Tuck's Dream in Saw 7, which involves a device on a rail system, and interestingly enough has a spiral thing going on. This obviously was never a real trap, but Jill, who if you don't remember was John Kramer's ex-wife, had to get the idea from somewhere. Maybe this was an idea for a trap that John never used and is being brought back by this new killer. The movie is called Spiral, which is obviously a reference to the pattern that shows up many times throughout the Saw films, most notably on Billy the Puppet. I wonder if we learn more about the thematic meaning behind it. All of the images associated with Jigsaw were chosen for a reason, and I'm guessing this is no different. Just look at the spiral staircase in this shot and the spirals that cover the traps across the trailer. Perhaps the reason for the spiral symbol is that it represents the religious aspect of Jigsaw's following. John's work has always been kind of cult like. He wears a robe and passes his teachings down to his disciples. The spiral symbol has a great contrast to the symbols of popular religious icons like the cross, with its rigid, perpendicular edges. We see a Christian church appear in the trailer. The full title is Spiral from the Book of Saw. Maybe the book is essentially a Bible meant to pass down the teachings of John Kramer. In fact, at the beginning of the trailer, the character Detective Banks seems to be imparting Jigsaw's code onto his partner, whether it is intentionally or not. John's motto was cherish your life, and here's what Banks has to say about his partner's relationship with his wife and son. Emma, this is my son Charlie. Enjoy a lot less kind of a weird thing to say, and I'm not saying that he's Jigsaw, mostly because that would just be too obvious. In the shot where a light is shined on this figure underground, I noticed that the suspect isn't actually moving, and that leads me to believe that it could be a mannequin. You may remember John's original workshop was located in a mannequin factory. Also, take a look at the shadow. Based on the angle of the light, it should be a long shadow, but it's not, meaning that this part must be a mural, which may or may not be part of a trap. It's a trap! You would love this franchise, Admiral. Later in the trailer, you can see what looks to be a SWAT guy cutting something with a buzzsaw. I think it would be really cool if the new villain named himself Buzzsaw. Also, it looks like he's cutting away one of those secret doors like we saw in the Gideon meatpacking plant in Saw 5. The trap we see just before the title card hits looks to be a new take on an old classic, the good old reverse bear trap. Only it looks like the technology has been updated for 2020, this one looks to be a hands-free version. It does look as if this movie is pretty removed from the last two entries, Saw 7 and Jigsaw. Here's something interesting to note. The seven Saw films all share a common look. The color schemes are similar, and they use the same aspect ratio. Spiral seems to have a similar aspect ratio and look to the 2017 sequel, Jigsaw. But as far as we know, there are no Jigsaw characters in Spiral. All we know about the killer is that he's going after cops. They're targeting cops. That could suggest that it's Logan Nelson from Jigsaw, whose goal was to get revenge on the corrupt cop who was responsible for letting his wife's killer go free, but again, it seems too obvious. It feels as if this movie is setting up a new Jigsaw successor, and maybe Spiral is part of a new trilogy or tetralogy where each movie introduces us to a new successor, and in the final movie they end up battling it out, or teaming up to make the ultimate team of villains. That's just an idea though, whatever happens I'll be covering everything Saw here on the channel. Starting in March I'm going to be doing Things You Missed episodes for all of the Saw movies, including Spiral and horror history episodes on your favorite Saw characters, so let me know who you'd like to see me cover in the comments. And also, these shirts will be available in the merch store soon, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that content by subscribing to CZ's World for new horrors every week, ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive.